Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is a bonus edition of Learn Ableton Live. And here I want to show you how we connect audio from Ableton into the Zoom conference meeting. So let's just jump straight on into it. If you like this video, go ahead and click subscribe. If you don't think this is something you want to learn about, you can go ahead and get out of here. But for those who are here, let's say you got a producer you want to collaborate with or a friend you want to show your music to. Well, in the Zoom conference meeting, just go ahead and select the option. And this is a meeting that's already active. Share screen and, and share the screen with Ableton. Make sure to select share computer sound because that's how Ableton is going to pipe its way through Zoom. I'll go ahead and click desktop 2 because that's where my Ableton 2 is hiding. And as you can see, I have Ableton up and running. The next place that you need to make a configuration change, and this is important, is in your preferences. So in Mac, hit command comma. In Windows, hit control comma, and that'll bring your preferences up. Go under the audio section, and under audio output device, select zoom audio device. And now you're pretty much ready to go. So just like you're in Ableton any other time, now you just got some recording functionality as well as you can play this through your conference. And jam. Input and outputs are the same. Just know what your input is, output it out correctly. If you like this video, thumbs up. Make a note in the comments, say, I like this, give me more. Glad you joined me. Make sure to hit subscribe. I'm putting out more videos pretty much fairly often, so if you subscribe, you'll see it. If you got any questions, give me a shout. All right, let's continue to learn Ableton Live together.